All right, bear. Everything set? Everything ready? Well, hello there. I am coming to you with another wig review. Now, you know how I love wigs. If you do not, then you must be new or you don't watch my videos like that. So don't click off. Go ahead, click that subscribe button because I'm going to be dropping much needed facts about wigs, okay? Let, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. Ah. All right, so first things first, this wig is from... I will leave all of the details on this wig in the description box below, okay? That, that's what I'm gonna do for you, for, for the free. So just check in the description box. All that information will be there. Click on the link, go check out Lay Wig for yourself. And do keep in mind, this is a wig review. So the wig was sent to me. Now I love wigs. I love curly wigs, I love straight wigs. I love them as protective styles. However, I did not purchase this wig. So I'm not sure what their customer service will be like. So make sure you read your reviews, you watch your reviews. And if you purchase from this website, leave a comment that you did so and tell us your experience. Cause I sure would love to know, you know what I mean? Now this is an uber curly wig, 16 inches. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna be taking this My Black Is Beautiful Tanger Slayer Conditioning Cream for Type 3 Curly Curly Hair. And I'm actually gonna put this throughout the wig because one, I wanna see how this new brand My Black Is Beautiful works. And two, this is an uber curly wig that is about Type 3. So let's just, let's just really get in there like swimwear and see what all of this is talking about now for those of you who are into my natural hair videos all right i really want you to watch this and pay attention because what i'm oh that, that was my earring don't worry about it what i'm going to be talking about is the benefits of wearing wigs okay when you are natural there might be a lot of things that you want to do with your hair a lot of things that you're super super excited to do and to accomplish like coloring, styling, cutting. But to be honest, until you get your natural hair regimen down, I wouldn't really be doing any of those things. A lot of you guys do not have a good natural hair routine. So you spend a majority of your natural hair journey trying to find it and doing ooh, some of the most weirdest experiments on your real natural hair. So then it sets you back and then you already weren't fond of big chopping in the first place. So you don't want to do that again. So you just keep trying and trying on these ends that you definitely need to chop off. But then you're one of those people who are super against wigs. So you really have no choice but to throw your hair in a ponytail and leave it for months, weeks on end. Sound a little bit like you? Huh? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. When it comes to wigs, whether a wig is going to be beneficial to your hair or not is solely dependent on the person and their practices. If you feel like wigs are going to destroy your hair, let me tell you something. Crochet styles aren't going to be any better. Braided box braids aren't going to be any better because it's not the wig, honey. It's you. It's you. Okay? It's you. Okay, this isn't doing too bad. This My Black is beautiful. Mind you, this is um, the curling con or the Tangle Slayer Conditioning Cream for type 3 hair. And this hair that I have here is about type 3 curly. And in the wig world, it's like that uh, deep wave, deep curly, water wave curly, whatever you want to call it. And it really is curling this up. And it's a wig. Now the benefits of wearing a wig, sorry, I finally, I have a mirror placed right here that is actually working for me right now, okay? But the benefits of wearing a wig are the same benefits of wearing any protective style, like it doesn't change. 
I kid you not, they are the same benefits. Now all I'm doing here is, for a wig this curly and this full, I'm really feeling more of a side part than I am a middle part. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. Oh, you know what would be even cuter? If I actually cut this as a bang. Oh my God, so many possibilities. I actually want to curl it up though. Now look at the ease of me doing this wig and trying out new products on this wig. The ease is super, super ridiculous because I'm not actually doing my hair. So if I mess this wig up, if this product doesn't work on natural hair, period, your girl would never know because I'm definitely doing this on a wig and not my real hair. This wig is so pretty. But hold on, I'm actually going to go grab some scissors because I didn't know I was going to be cutting my hair or cutting the wig. I'm really in the mood for some bangs. So yeah, I'm going to go get some scissors and cut some bangs real quick. Now, I would show you what scissors I'm about to use or just show you the process of me cutting the bang, but to be honest with you, my grandma just found my YouTube channel and I'm about to use her sewing scissors and she will kick my butt. So I don't really want evidence of that on camera, all right? So I'll, I'll be right back and I'll tell her. Shh. All right, so that's the little cut. I could have probably did the bangs a little bit longer, but I didn't. <laughs> but this is the good part of it being a wig, okay? Wasn't my real hair. Don't have to wait for it to grow back. But it still looks kind of cute, you know what I mean? And if any of y'all tell my grandma what I just did, I will shut this whole channel down. Think I'm playing. Somebody comment in the comment section so she can read it, because I know she ain't getting through this entire video. So, shut the whole channel down. Now let's see... Hmm, I have two mousses here. One is Silk Element Strength and Silk Curl Defining Mousse, and the other one is Tresemme's 4 Plus 4 Styling Mousse. I'm going to use both of them because, to be honest with you, in my opinion, the best mousse comes from brands that cater to. However, the Silk Elements, I believe, caters towards black people or people of color or people with just kinky hair. So I'm going to shake this one up and I'm going to put it in my bangs. Don't you just love mousse? It's so fun. But yeah, you guys, wigs are only as good as you make them. Now, when you get your wig and you do this, when you want to make sure that the curls pop, you want to make sure the ends of the curls are as healthy as possible. To be honest with you, this wig is absolutely gorgeous, but like most wigs, the ends could use a trim, but that's really only just the natural guru in me. Y'all know I don't care about ends at all when it comes to straighter wigs, but this wig is so cute and so pretty that I actually kind of want to go through and treat her like she's real you know what i mean like i really like this i wish i would have got this earlier so this could have been my summertime wig but whatever now i'm gonna go get these scissors like i say y'all better not snitch okay now all I'm doing here is I'm just going to cut just a little bit of weird layers. Now like I said, this is the great part about having a wig. Because you don't really have to worry about too much else. Like, you can just cut everything uneven if that's, if that's what you really want to do. Ain't nobody really going to check you, you know what I mean?
And basically, when you start to cut a little bit of layers into your wig, it makes your wig floofier. Instead of you just looking like, you know, an Egyptian pharaoh with a wig on, you kind of look more well-rounded, you know? And that's the cool thing. I would never cut my own hair like this, to be real with you. But um, when it comes to wigs, I never mind cutting a wig this sloppy because at the end of the day, it's curly hair. You can't really tell what I did with the cut. And it doesn't matter because when it comes to this wig, I'm probably... Y'all know I got multiple wigs. I got straight wigs. I got wigs for different occasions. So this will literally just be my sole floofy wig. Like, I probably won't be using this wig for ponytails or anything other than the shape that I am cutting it in. Woohoo! See, that's why I shouldn't have no mirror, because I'm over here just zoned into this guy. Now, what I decided to start doing was cutting the lace instead of with scissors. Either if I'm not going to cut it with my mannequin head, and I'm going to cut it on my head, I'm going to just use an eyebrow uh shaper thing i don't know the name oh crap i don't know the name of it but you know exactly what i'm talking about yep i know you do yep yep and basically i'm just gonna use this to cut the lace and go around my hair that way i don't cut my hair and i can just have like an easy cutting process you know i don't have to feel guilty See how nicely it cuts? Alright, so yeah, lace is cut off. Yeah, see that's what I mean by it's like a gel in in uh what is the word I'm looking for? It's like a gel in um in foam form. So yeah, I really, really do like this wig. And I want you guys to really branch out with your wigs. Like any other protective style, wigs are there for you. And you can even get kinky wigs. Now y'all should know on my channel, I'm not even going to front with y'all. Y'all should know that I wear kinky wigs. I wear kinky clip-ins. I wear kinky wigs. I wear it all. So if you are somebody who's like, oh, I just want to wear my hair. I don't want to wear type 3 hair or a straight wig because I want to embrace my kinks. You can embrace your kinks, okay? You can really embrace your kinks by keeping it healthy. And when you don't know what to do with your hair, throwing on a wig and not putting your hair through torture because you don't know how to do it. Or because you don't feel like doing it, okay? That's what you can do. But if you don't want to do it, I totally understand. However this protective style is the same as any other protective style what did i i put this wig over two braids that i was already rocking like a week prior okay but factually i love this wig i'm about to go live my best wiggy life while my hair is thriving underneath and i will see you guys in my next video peace out